President William Ruto sustained his defense of the Finance Act, even as Kenyans continue to feel the pinch of some of his proposals with fuel prices having hit an all-time high, with pet petrol retailing at 195.53 shillings in Nairobi. The president, who attended mass at the St. Mary's Catholic Church in Molo in Nakuru County, acknowledged the debates surrounding the Finance Act, saying they had made it open to allow Kenyans to ventilate on the controversial issues and insisting it was geared towards bettering the country's state of the economy and improving livelihoods. The developments came as it emerged that Attorney General Justin Muturi was set to move to court Monday to appeal the High Court decision suspending the implementation of the Finance Act until Wednesday. We begin our broadcast with our very own Chem Tai Goin. <laughs> President William Ruto, accompanied by his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa, Nakoro Governor Susan Kihika and Molo MP and the Finance and Planning Committee Chairman Kuria Kimani, among others, attended Mass at the St. Mary's Catholic Church in Molo constituency in Akuru County, where the president continued to make a case for the Finance Act amid the furore that greeted his move to sign it into law, despite Kenyans' views that it was punitive. Wa Kenya wamejua kuna kitu inaitua finance bill. Lakini finance bill haiku wanza mwaka huu. Ilikuwa miaka yote. Lakini ilikuwa inafanywa tu huko na chini na ukora na nini na nini. Yetu tumesema tuweke kwa meza. Wacha wa Kenya, wacha diliani. We used to see taxes. Taxes miongezwa. We are not told for what and why and we are not involved. But this particular discussion, everybody in the Republic of Kenya, ata shosho li niuliza hii kitu litoka wapi, wanaongea kuhusu finance bill. That is running a transparent government as your administration promised your excellence. Mumetuskuma kupitia finance bill, tukaweza kuongezea pesa, ndio tukafufue our higher education institutions, including Egerton University, ili metutesa sana. Mimi ni yule mwacha ya wale wata mpa wale pika yes kwa finance bill luko national assembly. Kwa sababu tunataka pesa ya mashule, tunataka ya barabara na ya pasara na mambo mengi. The Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, has seemingly ignored two court orders suspending implementation of the Finance Act until Wednesday. Kenyans are feeling the pain of high fuel prices that have hit an all-time high. The president insists the short-term pain has a long-term gain, even as it emerged that the government intends to lodge an appeal against a high court decision on Monday. Kitanda sijui nini furniture kutoka inji ya inje tutamulipisha ushuru kwa sababu tunataka hiyo viti yote itengenezwe na vijana wa taifa letu na to facilitate this and with Molo largely known to be a producer of timber, the president announced the lifting of a six-year moratorium on logging to enable residents eka living. Dunia hii ilikuwa dunia ya mbao. Tukaenda, kuna waziri mungine mjinga, alikuwa mjinga siku hiyo. Alienda akazuia mambo yote ya forest ikapotea. Hasa miti inaoza huko kwa msitu, watu wanaangaika pande hii, hawana mbao. Unaona ile ujinga hiko hii Kenya? So, iyo maneno yote, sasa tumeondoa na tumesema, tutafanya na mpango. So, tumelift ile moratorium, mbae likuwa emewekwa, na pia tumeondoa ushuru. In defense of the Finance Act, President Ruto said the 1.5% tax imposed on salaried Kenyans and their employers to fund the affordable housing scheme would allow Kenyans in informal settlements live in dignity and offer job opportunities to jobless Kenyans. The government intends to construct 5,000 units in Molo. Tunataka tukusanya hii watu yote tuishi mali moja, ibaki ile shamba, tuzalisha nae chakula, watu wanaungezeka na ardhi ayongezeki. Tunaelewana? Vile vile nataka tupange ajira ya vijana. Unajua niko very passionate about the urban agenda. Kwa sababu I am a believer and I know that the future is urban. Na ndiyo maana unaona nilishika kabisa hiyo maneno yako, hiyo agenda yako ya housing. Listing Nakura and its environs as part of the country's bread basket, the president pleaded with the residents to embrace his fertilizer subsidy program to help bring down the cost of food and by extension the cost of living. Ile ekari yako moja, 
ukiweka mbolea gunia moja ya 50 kilos unapata between 10 12 hapo ukiweka mbili mbili unasongesha songesha mpaka inafika karibu 20 ukiweka tatu inaweza kufika 40 nyinyi mnanielewa na mimi sisemi kitu ambaye mimi nafikiria tu mimi nafanya kwa shamba yangu huyu rais wetu alisema atapunguza bolea kutoka 7000 mpaka 3500 amefanya iko mambo tunapanga ya maziwa iko mambo tunapanga ya majani chai mambo ya viazi umesikia mambo ya masomo iko President Ruto also announced the resumption of the construction of the stalled Tare Dam saying he had held successful talks with the Italian government who are the financiers pesa karibu billion 15 ambayo ilikuwa imepotea tasa hiyo pesa tumepata ambayo ilikuwa imepotea and we are going now to complete Itare Dam tupate maji kuanzia kule Kuresoi maji patikane hapa kwa sababu ile dam ni dam kubwa with Molo being one of the areas badly hit by the 2007-2008 post election violence president ruto said the 2022 polls had proved that communities cannot be incited to turn against each other under the pretext of politics also on the president's agenda was initiating a 5 billion shilling school feeding program and the hiring of community health promoters who will deal with minor illnesses to minimize congestion in the health facilities chemutai going citizen tv